This is part two of how to organize projects built in InDesign. But first, would you like a free cheat sheet? Sir, yes, sir! Head over to graphicskill.com to download your free InDesign cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Just click the link below. Hello, creative! It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here with a quick tip to help you design your brand. So here in this job folder that I've given the name letterhead, you can see that I have a subfolder for fonts and images, as well as my native letterhead INDD file and the exported PDF. So now in InDesign, you can see that this letterhead has one image, a logo that I've imported. So that image is in my images folder called logo.eps. So that logo EPS file is in the images subfolder, as well as the fonts that I need to open up this native InDesign file called letterhead if I wanted to make any changes. Now here in the PDF that I happen not to export with any trim marks or color bars, I have the template of what this would look like. By the way, if you would like this InDesign file, just click right up here. So this is a project folder that I created. Now you might be wondering why I include underscores in front of my names. And that's so all of the subfolders go to the top when you click on name. For example, if I click on name here, and it's the same thing on a PC, you can sort by that file name. All of the subfolders go to the top, which keeps my native file and PDF below that. If I happen to have had individual InDesign files for each chapter of a book, why they would all appear here. But InDesign has something built into it that does this for you. And in this folder, you can see that it has a subfolder for links, a subfolder for document fonts in addition to the native INDD file and PDF. To package up all of the fonts and images in your InDesign file, you just come to File, Package. When you select that, you can see the package dialog box that gives you all of the information regarding the fonts and images and colors used in this file. You can see here two fonts, nothing's missing, it's four color process, that's good, not RGB, and all the information. All of this gives your printer information so that it can reproduce it accurately in the way that you'd like. When you're done, you can choose to make a report that you can save as a TXT file in your folder. When you go ahead and click package, you can give that TXT file a name and add even more information such as your name or company and address. If this contact information is something that you'd like to keep with your file when you send it to the printer. When you then choose continue, why it gives it a name. Here's how I got to that letterhead folder. You can edit this to say anything that you like and it's going to show you all of these things, the fonts, the graphics. You can choose to uncheck these things if you don't want to provide the fonts, for example. When you make this package, be sure to do one more thing, and that is to select what type of PDF you want to provide. PDF X1A is a good option, but you can learn more about the different types of PDFs with my video that you can get to in the link in the upper right hand corner or in the link below. Last step, you click package and voila, you're left with what you see here. So you might decide to do file package instead of manually creating your folder. Either way, you want to ensure that you provide everything to your client or printer that they'll need if they are paying for the native source files. Of course, if you don't want to hand over the native file for them to make the changes, you can just give them the PDF. But I would recommend keeping all of this information so you can know where your files are so you can get paid to make those edits in the future. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like. Nice. Share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.